All right, guys, I had a request to show you guys how these uh, relays operate. I'm not going to go out there and hook up lights and all that stuff. You know that saying, um, teach a man to fish and all that stuff? And that's what I'm going to do here. If you learn this, you can get any relay, make it do what you want it to do without me showing you this. I'm going to show you how it's wired, see if I can find it. Okay. Here's how we'll start. You got on the back side of this relay, you see your, your little poles that stick out, your pins. Each one of them pins has a corresponding num number. Number and a letter sometimes, but numbers. If you flip it over, you can find number 30, number 87, 87A, 85, and 36. And most of them are wired this way. Okay, when you're looking at the schematic, there'll be a schematic on the back side of it. If you're blind like me and you can't read it, you can color it with a silver, silver sharpie and then clean off the top, then you'll be able to see the schematic. But what you're going to see is this. Let me move it a little bit more. Okay, let me try this. All right, this is what you'll see. This 36 and 85, you'll see this line going through it like this. That represents a coil, a coil that energizes when you put a positive, a positive here and a negative here. You energize these two, that coil, it pulls an armature in. You see that little line going there? That's a representing an armature. And it's going to push that over to 87, right? That's how all this whole thing works. You have a switch. Say if you had a switch inside the Jeep, you had 85 grounded. You put voltage to 36, it's going to push this lever over to here and put 30 to 87. And when you let go of it, it when you switch it off or take voltage from 36, it's going to back over. That'll be the clicking sound you hear. Now to wire this up to lights or whatever, you would want to ground number 85, put a positive to number 36 on a switch. You switch your switch on, click, this is going to go over to 87. So then how you would run your lights on that circuit would you would be putting your battery volts to this, 12 volts fused to number 30. That will be your input. As soon as you switch your switch on, this is going to flop over to 87 and turn your lights on. And when you turn your, light, your switch off, it's going to go back over to here. They're going to cut off. That's as simple as it is, guys. If you flip the relay over and you look at them, you can go grab one right now, you'll see what I'm talking about. There'll be a little number by every one of them pins. And if you know how to read this little schematic, and they're basically all the same on the relays, they should all have this. And like I said, if you can't read it, color it with a silver Sharpie, and then clean off the top, and you'll be able to read it. But 36 will be positive from the switch inside the Jeep and that don't pull any voltage whatsoever hardly like maybe an amp if that to switch this you could run it off of any power source inside the Jeep that's fused and it would switch this all day and night with no problem but um switch to here positive battery to here when you switch the switch on it's going to flop that lever over and put voltage to 87 so your lights or whatever would go to 87 and that's how that works man let me see if I can focus this little one. I got one. This is one of them big square ones. This is one I got out of junkyard. Just a spare one in my Jeep that I use whenever I need one. Let me see if we can see them. It didn't want to focus a while ago when I was trying to do this. Let me see if I can get it focused. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I was on those um, numbers. Let me see. I can't make it out. but See them right here? Let's see if I can get over here with my pointer. See that faint bit of number right there? You'll see that on all of them. There's one there. There's one there. But um, that's how that works, guys. And on the little one, let's see if we can get the little one out. These little ones here, you could use them for lights too. I think these are about, these are probably about, probably about 50 amps, 40, 50 amps. These are hold, and these are probably about 20, 20 to 30. These are run LEDs all day. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. See, it's the same type of deal. Same type of deal. There's your, there's your little coil right here. 
And that's representing the uh, armature. Same thing, positive, negative. Energize that coil, switches it right here, bam, bam. So your power on this one too would be 30. That'd be your voltage from your battery. And when you flip this on, it goes down to 87. As simple as it is, man. You um, get you one of these and you play with it, you know, test it out. But if you wire up your lights with these, it'll work a little way better, which is, you know, the way you're supposed to do it. Most of your switches you buy in the store today ain't worth the crap. Let's look at there. Armor on. Made in the USA. I didn't know that. Let's see where Ford gets this from. Mexico, probably. If it even says. But like I said, you know, these relays, you can grab them out of anything. They all wire up the same. Just these, the smaller ones are a little bit tighter on your connectors. Oh, and all you gotta do is get you a um, spade connector, a female. Slide him right on there. Bam, bam, bam. Make you up a light circuit. And you ain't got to buy that harness. You can go buy these brand new, but usually in, you get them out of the junkyard and um, they they don't use the capacity of them in vehicles, so they stay pretty good, you know. I just keep one on, keep them in my Jeep just in case, you know. I grab them when I go to the junkyard. But anyway, this is for one, um, one subscriber wanted me to show this, and I... I Sorry, but I really didn't uh, write it down who it was, but maybe everybody can learn a little bit from it. But that's how that works, guys. Y'all have a good one. Don't let the forums get you down, and talk to you later.